Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll take a look at the latest update that was just pushed off to the Galaxy Tab S8 series. So if you have the Galaxy Tab S8, the Tab S8 Plus, or the Tab S8 Ultra, you now have Samsung One UI 5.1.1, which is the One UI version that was launched with the Galaxy Tab S9, the Fold 5, and the Flip 5. So that means that if this update was just pushed off here, at least the United States, I know this update should have been pushed off about a week ago over in the European countries. Here it is arriving in the United States. My guess is that this update of Samsung One UI 5.1.1 will probably be launched as well on the Fold 4 and Flip 4. I just can't currently take a look at those devices as those ones were already sent in for my newer devices. Now in here, this is where you can read everything of what is brand new in Samsung One UI 5.1.1. So we'll take a look at what it states of what's new and also show you a few of those features as well. But just to kind of let you know, this version ends in BWH6 and the size is over 2,595 megabytes and it still has that security patch of July 1st. So hopefully this one, we'll see maybe another update here fairly shortly soon. So this way we can get ourselves at least inside of the August patch since September is just around the corner. So how about we take a look at a few changes that's brand new. Now underneath the first category for multitasking, it says better app previews on the recent screen. So the recent screen now shows apps as they will appear after you open them up. So exactly how you see them as a pop-up is what you will see when you actually do open them up. You can also easily see if an app is opened in split screen, full screen or pop-up. Now what they mean by that is when you take a look at the screen here, this is just the full running application. This is just the normal gallery app. It's a full screen. Here's a pop-up view. So if you, if this one was originally set as pop-up and then you basically went inside of your recent screen, that's what it's gonna look like. And same thing with split screen view. So basically if you have a split screen that's already going, you went inside of your recents or you went home and then you took a look at your recents maybe 10, 15 minutes later, this is what you will see as the preview. So you're seeing exactly exactly what is going to show when you open this thing up. It doesn't matter if it's a full running application, if it's split screen, or if it's going to be pop-up. Now next up, you can easily switch from pop-up view to split screen. So pretty much what they're talking about that is let's say that you were using Twitter as a little split screen, you had other things that was going on. What you'd be able to do from this little area right here of recent apps is you can actually just press and hold and then I can place it anywhere I want. So if I want it to be in split screen over in this way, I can put it on split screen over there then open up another application. Now, another thing you can do to easily move a pop-up screen window into maybe split screen is that if you press and hold on the very top, you can either bring it down to the bottom, you can bring it to the top, you can bring it to the right, or bring it to the left. So really, wherever you want it to go, if you want to open a split screen from the pop-up view, this is what you're able to do. Now, a couple other things is you can restore pop-ups snapped to the edge of the screen, and you can also check minimized apps with the S Pen. Now, inside of the taskbar, there's more recent apps. So on the taskbar on the very bottom, which I, you know, you can press and hold, and you can either have it show, have it not show. I use gestures, so it's a much easier to actually get this taskbar to show and not show other than having the navigation bars. Uh, but basically on the very bottom, when you go inside of the settings and then you head over inside of your display, this is where you can actually add in more recent apps. So beforehand, there used to only be two as the default. So now what you can do is inside of the taskbar settings, you can actually show recent applications go into three or four. So if you would like to have more applications show up on the right hand side of this line, you can do that. Uh, or you can just leave it up to two. Now, I would probably just leave mine at two, but the other thing I wanna give you is a little tip, and whatever you see down here on the very bottom, this is what's gonna show on the bottom left-hand side of this little line. Now, if there are some of these that you would like to move around, you can do that. You can see that I have Twitch on the very bottom, but let's say that we were to maybe move down one more into the bottom. These are maybe applications that you would always open up, use all the time. You know, maybe Samsung Notes is something that maybe you don't use as often. And then maybe let's say that we move over and let's bring in Twitter as well. So if we put Twitter on the very bottom, now what's gonna happen is when you open up another application, these are what's gonna show on the very bottom so this way you can actually switch between all of them just super easy super quick and fast so anytime that you ever want to move them around or if you would like to what you'd be able to do is you can actually just press and hold and then you can open up and do split screen this way as well so yeah you can fully customize the very bottom of your taskbar if that's something that you haven't done already now going down more of the list with quick share you can share files privately so protect private content when you share it 
You can set expiration dates for the files you send, cancel sharing at any time, and prevent recipients from saving or resharing. Camera and gallery, get more date and time styles for watermarks. I've shown this off in a past video. If you're somebody who uses watermarks, if you go inside the camera and the settings, you can actually change where you want the watermark to be placed. And also I believe even the font as well too. Enhanced remaster previews, allow or apply effects more easily. So filter and tone effects in gallery. Now use a dial instead of a slider, making it easier to make precise adjustments with just one hand. Copy and paste effects. You can now copy and paste filters and tones from one picture you've edited to another. So I'll play with that a little bit later on. I've actually never done that before, so I'm not gonna show just yet. If it's something that I find to be super helpful, I'll probably shoot that again in another future video. And then the additional changes. So this one's a pretty big deal here. Drag and drop with two hands. And it doesn't have to be with two hands. You can even just do it with one finger and then a thumb, maybe one finger and then another finger. So you can actually now have Instead of basically when your finger is on there, there used to kind of be a little palm rejection type feature where you can't have another finger doing some things. So yeah, you are now actually able to press and hold on any application, move them to another screen, and uh, you can copy and paste the icons. You can do so many different things. You can move images from your gallery to text messages or a gallery to Samsung Notes, and you can do that with both hands or two different fingers at the same time. Keep storage space available. When you're running low on storage in your internal storage, App cache information will be shown when you analyze storage in the files. Clearing app caches can help you free up space without deleting files or apps. Enhanced memory management in device care. More information is provided about apps using memory on your tablet, giving you the option to put apps to sleep if too much memory is being used. You can also change your mode from the lock screen. So change between sleep mode, driving mode, or other modes directly from the lock screen itself. Customize your layout in Samsung Internet. You can now make the taskbar appear at the bottom of the screen. When you do this, the tab bar and bookmark bar will also be shown at the bottom. So that's pretty much everything that's new with this update right here. Again, one of the things with this, you know, two finger type thing is let's say that I press and hold and I wanted to, uh, let's see here, let's press and hold, select, and let's say that I select these ones as well too. So when I'm pressing and holding and I got these ones floating, I can now use my other finger to place them wherever they may want to go. Again, you can do this if you are uh, doing this with inside of your gallery and you select several images, you can swipe over, put it into a different album, or go in the very bottom, you can go inside of any other application, if it's Twitter, if it's Instagram, if it's messages, open it up, drag and drop, and that's pretty much about it. Other than that, what you would have to do is when you have everything all selected, you'd have to press and hold, move it, you have to bring it somewhere else, you have to go inside of different you know, folders and sections of the phone. Uh, I just find it to be way more easy, more simple, more desktop-like where you can use both of your fingers, one of them to navigate and the other one to hold and then also release. So very, very easy, very cool to do. I've shown this off several times on the channel. If you missed some of those, maybe I can place a few videos below here inside the description that can show you some of the best features of Samsung One UI 5.1.1. But that's really the high overview of everything here that's brand new in your tablet. So now you have a tablet, you know, if it's if you own the Tab S8 series, it's now acting more like a Galaxy Tab S9. And if you own the Fold 4 or Flip 4, let me know if you see this update. I believe there was maybe some betas for this, for those devices and for the Tab S8. I just was never a part of those betas. I never signed up, but here it is fully launched and available here in the United States for at least the Galaxy Tab S8 series. I know that this was pushed off again inside the European countries about a week ago. And then I believe uh, maybe the same thing is coming out for the Flip 4 and Fold 4, but I can't test it as I don't have those devices because I sent them in for the brand new versions you know, of their little counterparts. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video here. This was a very big update. Basically 2.6 gigs is what you're getting. Uh, but hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <music>